today we will discuss what is list in Prolog. A list is a data structure in Prolog to represent collection of items. The items are enclosed by third brackets. Here I am showing you some example of list. This is the integer list. All the items are separated by comma. This is a symbol list. All the items are separated by comma. This is an empty list. It means no items within the third bracket. We can declare a domain of list by using asterisk symbol. For example, my list equals to integer asterisk. That means this is an integer list. My list equals to symbol asterisk. So that means it is a symbol list. A list is either empty list or it has two part head and tail. Tail part is also a list. We denote it H vertical bar T. For example, 10, 20, 30, 40. In this case, head will be the first element 10. Tail is the remaining part that is 20, 30, 40. In this case, there is only one item. Head will be 50. Tail will be the empty list. It is like that 50 vertical bar empty list. We can perform various operation on list. But here today we will see how to find the length of a list. Let's see how to calculate the length of a list. We know the length of an empty list is 0. Now, if I give you a list 10, 20, 30, 40, on that time, length of the list is, this is the head part, this is the tail part, length of the tail plus 1. So, we can say length of the tail plus 1. Here 20, 30, 40. So this is the length of the tail. 3 plus 1, 4. So in this case, the length will be length of the tail plus 1. We will implement this logic in Prolog to find out the length of a list. Let's, we have defined a predicate len. The first argument will be a list. Second argument will be the length. How we can do it? We are defining clauses like that. Length, if the argument is empty list, it will return 0. But if we are sending a non-empty list, on that time, whatever the header part, head part it is, we are considering the tail part. The length of the list is n. So what will be the n? n is the length of the tail plus 1. Length of the tail is n1, n1 plus 1. So that is our logic, length of the tail plus 1. So here, length of tail, that is n1, and the actual length is n equals to n1 plus 1. Let's see how it will execute. Suppose we have taken 10, 20, 30, the length of the list will come in n. So it will look for length length clause in the clause section. So here it matches with this second clause. Now it will look for tail. Tail part means 20, 30, n1 and n equals to n1 plus 1. Again it will recursively call next clauses. So now it will look for 30 n1 comma n equals to n1 plus 1. Now it will recursively call this. So up to that part we are using clause 2. Now it matches with the first clause length empty list 0. The length of the empty list n1 it will be 0 and it will pass the value to here n equals to n1 plus 1 so the value will be 1. It will pass the value to the previous call then n1 will be 1 so the value will be n1 will be 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 this value it will pass here so the value of n will be 2 plus 1 that is equals to 3 so in this way we will get the output n equals to 3 here so this value will come here so n equals to 3 we got to test the program we are using the online platform here we have written the program. 
and here we have written the query length of this list so we'll get the result on p when we'll run this we'll get p equals to 4 